Hello everybody, Ian Robson here for another episode of Idaho. <laughs> Alright, we had a couple things going on today. If you recall from the previous episode, uh, we were doing a little bit of bailing. As you can see, the bales are still on the field, as you can see. And we do have a little bit of bailing left over here. Nothing too crazy, but uh, one, two, three, four, five, six windrows left to do. Or maybe one more. About six left to do. And uh, I think it was Dylan who said if you if you shoot the bales off the back of the wagon, they line up. And they do indeed, uh, which is pretty nice, as you can see. So they're stacked up now nicely, uh, for the time being at least. Um, so I'm going to leave them there like that for now. All right, so let's go ahead and finish off the rest of the baling today, and then we'll collect the bales off the field. I also brought up the header over here uh, with the GMC over there, and uh, the new Holland just chilling out here for the time being. Um, I did a couple things off screen, nothing too crazy. I think the only the thing I really did was uh, I made a course to go from here to the brewery and also here to the train depot. I think the one I made before wasn't quite uh, up to snuff, so to speak. Uh, there are a couple great demands going on right now. We'd nothing we'd have those. Slurry and potatoes. Uh, soybeans. We should probably plant some oats. Because oats are a pretty good price too. Alright. Maybe we should get a tractor to do that. Jeez. I think I have tractors like well, I don't think I have any of the tractors over here at the moment. I think all my tractors are all... I think they're all at the uh, livestock farm at the moment, just about. Oh no, we got a couple laying around here, it looks like. 84. Yeah, most of them are over by the livestock farm at the moment, though. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this guy fired up, and we'll finish off the rest of the spaling, and then see what we do after that. I think someone was saying a while back that uh, you can, I think they were saying that you can, uh, if you, let me just lower this down here, uh, if you um, put, I think it's if you put, uh, where is it, the stave silo creates a certain amount of silage per hour after filling, after filling, filling it with what, I'm not sure, the silos are all in one. So I maybe need to fill it with something. I don't know what that something is, though. There was no indicator on this to tell me how full it is. I guess I'll have to keep this up, then, because I have no idea. No idea otherwise, at least. But we're getting about one bale per... One or two bales per windrow, it seems like. So I'm in that area. And we've gotten uh, done a total of 143 bales. Now, that's including all of these straw bales, remember, so... Uh, these ones are just uh, the other ones for the time being. There we go. Nice little small bales. 2,000 liter bales. Not too bad. I think uh, if you use the John Deere 864 Premium Baler, uh, I think you can get to 2,000 liter bales. I think I make on, uh, on one of the other maps I played on, I think I made 2,150 liter bales. Um, but these will do nicely. One of the nice things about this is the perfect size um, for the I guess technically this is the same size as the Ursus baler does. Um, I could, I suppose, use the in-game baler, the crone baler uh, although I'm, some, I'm sure some people would say it's not American and it definitely isn't uh, although you do see more and more of those types of balers coming to America these days. It's not really old school either unfortunately. Someone was saying I should get the John Deere square baler do small squares up. Uh, I would be just, it'd be even worse uh, if I were to do that. Like the number of bales I would get from that would just be ridiculous uh, in comparison to what I'm already getting here. So there we go. Nice. I don't know how fast the grass takes to uh, to cut. To, uh, I don't know to recover. I guess is the word I'm thinking of to grow back. I'm sure it's just like a day like most other things. I was actually looking into installing the soil mod on this map, but I haven't got around. I test. I tried a little bit, but I didn't uh, succeed. I missed a step, or I didn't read the instructions closely enough. I think it was just one little thing that I kind of missed, but everything else seemed... It seems pretty straightforward. It's just a question of making sure you don't make any mistakes. Um, 
like most things when you're trying to adjust maps and whatnot, uh, when you make a mistake is when you'll know. Alright. And it seems to be the case. Like, if you... It's just usually like a simple, like, you miss a number, for example. And that's all it is. And if you miss that one number, then... Uh, everything else will get screwed up, but... Ah, well. Alright. Nice. Perfect. I think I was looking. A lot of people were saying in the comments about. Uh, uh, some people were saying, get a new, get one of the newer trackers and skip the eight, uh, skip the year. Some people were saying, stick to this, stick to what you're doing right now in terms of years. Uh, and one of the big reasons I think it seems like is people, people like it because I don't, I use trackers I wouldn't normally use. Uh, like this one, for example, it's not something I would normally use because it's a bit on the small side, but it does get the job done. So I think that's the reason why people were kind of suggesting that I stick to uh, the older or stick to, uh, you know, not necessarily older style, but going through the years. So we're kind of, uh, this tractor is a 1976 tractor from what I understand. And I think most of the other tractors we have at the moment are all kind of in that era. I think we might have a couple from the 80s. I'll have to double check now. I did look, I actually went out of my way to go uh, look up some other tractors to see if I could find some other ones from the 80s. It seems like there's kind of a void um, in tractors. There's like older vintage style tractors and then there's like newer-ish tractors. There aren't many in between, unfortunately. That's the way it seems like, at least. Uh, so it's like 1950s, you can find some around there, uh, but from like 75 to like 90, there's like not very many mods, I should say. There's lots of tractors in real life, but in terms of mods, there aren't many mods in that era. And I know some people said check out uh, American Eagle modding for the John Deere 40, 4440. Um, I have looked at that one before. It's it's not amazing. Um, that's why I just didn't get it in the end. Uh, and I think, I think there's a 4930 or something like that, or 4630 someone suggested checking out on American Eagle modding as well. Uh, it's actually, a lot of those ones on there, they appear to be um, remakes of older uh, FS2813 tractors, basically. That's what I, that's what I discovered, at least. So that's what it looks like. Basically, I, if you look through and if you see anything from, uh, I think it's Nagstad, Nagsteed or something. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, there are some older ones here. If you look at, they tend to be John Deere's at least. Not all of them, but uh, what's a good example? This one. No, nope, it's this one, yeah. So if you look at down here, it'll say, it'll give it a, a shout out sometimes. And let me see. This one, yeah. So this guy right here. So this one, for example, uh, probably was he. This guy originally did it, and then this guy just edited it to make it work in 2013. But it's probably from FS 2011, which is the reason why it doesn't look so well. The same thing for this one. This one's actually not terrible, but uh, same same idea there. So uh, a lot of those a lot of those older John Deere's tend to be remakes from uh, tend to be remakes from his mods at least. I don't know. That's what I've discovered, at least. Ah, oh, well. We got one, maybe two more passes left. I don't know how many bales we're going to get in the end. I think last time I checked, we had like 27 bales, I think, is what we ended up with in this field, which isn't too bad. That's like, technically, it's only like one load from our, uh, with our particular trailer we have at the moment, so it's not too bad. There we go. Nice. I think what I'll do in the end is I think I will, I'll probably, I'll definitely change balers. Uh, this one's just a little bit too small for my liking, but uh, it is going to work for the time being with our older equipment, uh, which is nice because you don't need a lot of horsepower for this guy. Technically, you don't need a lot of horsepower for a lot of, uh, not a lot of balers. Like even some of the uh, bigger ones, you don't need a crazy, a crazy amount. Um, I don't think, at least, but you do need a, I don't know, a hefty one, a hefty tractor, I'll call it. Doesn't have to be in a 
a monster, but big enough. Sweet. So we got one more pass left, and then we'll go ahead and collect these bales. That looks pretty cool, actually. All those bales out there. Some of you are probably upset by the fact that I'm using the GPS mod. I just, it makes it easier so I can talk and not have to, uh, could do two things at once easier. That's the only reason why I'm using it. If I didn't have to talk, I'd probably just drive in a straight line. But this also makes my life a bit easier because I can look around. And you get pretty little pictures like that. That's pretty cool. So, I don't know. That's the reason why I'm doing it. Also means I don't miss any because I'm pretty bad at missing stuff. So this should be the last pass right here, actually. And this is going to be, a, looks like it's going to be a mix of dry and wet hay in this last pass because for whatever reason our rake didn't, uh, didn't clean it up, but whatever. I think we actually have the same thing on the other side over there. We probably could uh, drive over there and pick up that too, but we're not going to. I think what I'll do is I'll finish off this bale, and then even if there's a little bit left, I'll just leave it for the time being, because I really don't want to have like a half bale. And I don't think you can empty out a half bale here. I don't think we're going to get into a full bale. I don't think you can pop one out that's not full. Oh my goodness, this, this is going to beep forever. All I want is the rest of this bale. There we go. Whew. Thought we were going to have to deal with that forever. Perfect. Let's raise that pick up. So as you can see, we did miss a little bit with using course play there, but nothing too crazy, so... We got a fair number of bales out there, though. It's not too bad. Uh, I guess we can actually give our cows a little bit of, uh, hopefully, TMR now. Actually, we don't have any silage. Oh, that's not true. We do have some silage, uh, but it is over by the other farm. Hmm. I mean, do we do our, there is corn over here, but we don't actually own the field, so I'm not going to touch it for the time being. I've just been parking all my haying equipment over here for the time being. And if I could back up, that would make a big difference as well. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's get this out of the way. Perfect. I also made a course that transfers uh, transfers things from um, livestock to main farm and main farm to livestock farm, just going back and forth there, uh, just because it does make our lives a bit easier. All right, so we need a little bit of silage. How are we gonna do this? I think, oh, he's already attached. I don't need to attach this guy to him. I think what we're gonna need to do then is we're gonna need to, hmm. Actually, you know what? I think, I think this has ramps on it. Yes, I know I'm driving through the fence, but I think this has... So the problem I'm going to run into is that I have silage, but I can't fill it up anyhow. I actually don't even have a bucket that I can use. Uh, now that I think about it. Hide HUD. Actually, I probably shouldn't press that button because that will probably end the recording. I'll have to restart it again. Because uh, if you... Uh, where is it? Let me... Oh, maybe I... There it is. So we do have a little bit of silage on the other bunker. 174,000 liters. Uh, but the question becomes, how do we get it out of there? We could use our front loader here. Uh, that would take way too long. So how are we going to do this? Uh, we don't have a self-propelled one yet. Uh, we, hmm. We do have these over here, but I can't put anything... Well, I could put stuff in them, actually. Uh, they said it makes silage over here. Uh, let's just give that a go, actually. Uh, let's grab this guy right here. Actually, you know what we'll do first? We'll collect the bales. That actually makes the most sense. Uh, it won't be... 
it won't be a full load anyway, so shouldn't take too long. It's funny because apparently these bales that we've created are considered uh, Ursus bales, even though they're not Ursus bales. Uh, that's what happens when you. Uh, This is what happens when you uh, have the developer stuff turned on. I'm not sure how to turn it off, actually. I don't think you can. Once it's on, it's on. As far as I know, so. Now, the only thing I need to be careful about is not to pick up any uh, of the straw bales over there. Now, technically, I probably could go all around the field and pick these up manually, but it's not going to happen. I think we've had this discussion before, actually. There we go. It's funny, I don't know why... I, I looked into... Uh, I don't know why the ESL limiter doesn't uh, apply to this vehicle. I never quite figured that out. Maybe it's just something I did to it and I don't realize it, which is probably the case. It's usually what it boils down to in these types of scenarios, where it's like, you think you've got everything good to go, and it's not... doesn't function the way you want it to, basically. Uh, so what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get, uh, I'm not going to try, we are going to get all these bales off the field, it's not going to take very long. Uh, but what we are going to do is we're going to try and, it's going to try a little test, because it says you, if you put, if you fill the stave silo, which is that one right there as far as I understand, I think Craft Farms are saying that. Uh, if you fill it, I'm not sure if they mean fill it with grass or straw. I tried putting straw in there, it wouldn't let me, so I guess if you fill it with hay it makes silage uh, which I guess makes sense I guess there's a green bale in there if you can see that so yeah I guess it, if you put hay in there so I suppose I could have used a um, a forge wagon might have worked a bit better in this scenario and I could have made silage out of it but what we can do at least is we can give our cows a little bit of uh, dry hay here. We'll chop it up for them in our TMR mixer and give them a bit of that. There we go. There's a few more down here. This is a nice thing about this little uh, this setup. It's so nice to pick up bales. Although with this truck I really don't like using it because I can't just put a cruise control on and it. it'll do what I want it to do but it's working, so I'm not complaining too much. <laughs> All right, so uh, we can give them silage, TMR, water. Actually, we don't have any water yet either. Hmm. We'll have to grab a water. We don't have any. There are a few water trucks that we could use, actually. As you can see, that's the other strip over there I was talking about before. Uh, what do we got? Four over here. There we go. Actually, 33 bales. I guess we're going to be close to 40 then. And I think these are the last two right here. So yeah, actually, that's not too bad. 36. All right, stop loading. Ugh. This is the problem when you use all the F keys. All right, so... How are we going to do this? We're going to have to move... The, this guy out of the way. I think we're going to need to do this anyways because he's got the uh, the rake on the back here. So let's put it over here for the time being, and we'll need to grab the the rear weight for this guy too. Wow, doing a terrible job of backing this thing up. Maybe I should slower the speed. There we go. That's the only way I can't screw up, apparently, is if I go down to a snail's pace. That's good enough. And there's the weight over there. So let's go ahead and grab that as well, because we're going to need it in a second here. Right over here. Tucked away. Probably should be able to sneak in there and grab it, I imagine at least. Or not. Alright, fine. I was reading an interesting article the other day, actually, 
Um, it was about uh, neonicotides, uh, which is a something that they put on soybeans and corn, I believe. It's basically like a something that protects the seed from insects, if memory serves. Anyways, uh, apparently in some of the places in the United Kingdom, they already have a ban on using it uh, altogether. Um, here, they don't have a ban on it. Um, one thing they were talking about was... There we go. One thing they were talking about was potentially... Um, one thing they were talking about potentially was reducing the the usage of it. So... Uh, Oh gosh, I totally forgot about this. Uh, no, we'll take a little turn again. Uh, they're talking about reducing the usage of it. So, for, for example, instead of using, like, let's say, 100 units, they're going to say, no, you're only allowed to use 50 units, for example. Basically limiting the amount people can use. And the hope behind that is uh, partially to do with bees, because people are saying uh, neonicotides are the reason why are uh, the reason why bees are having problems, which is some people would probably argue. Well, they'd probably argue both ways, I imagine. Oh my goodness! You can tell how often I back up with this. Like, this is something that Hitman loves to do. I am not so good at it. Actually, there's a couple different ways you can do this. This is uh, the hard way, technically. If you recall what I mentioned before, you can actually drive through all the fences, so this is for your benefit mostly. Otherwise, I probably would have just driven through the fence. And if I can't get it, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, nope. Let's see if we can't get this. Oh, that's the wrong way. Straighten those wheels out again. Yeah, I don't do this very often, but... Maybe we'll get it. Oh. Nope. Almost. Almost. Uh, here we go. This time. There we go. <laughs> That's close enough, probably. Alright, let's unload these. Uh, is it unload from the back still? Yes, good. Moment of truth. Perfect. That's close enough. I'm surprised that worked as well as it did. I thought the bells were going to explode everywhere. All right, so I think we can actually... Does this one have it? I thought they did. Maybe it doesn't. Hmm. I could have sworn this had, like, the... I'm pretty sure it does, actually. Sling bales, no. Sling, nope. Big bales, no. I could have sworn it actually had a feature where you could... Uh, Maybe, I don't know why it'd have to be running, but I'm pretty sure you can put ramps on this. Maybe it's not this one then. Hmm, oh well. I'm pretty sure there is one that you can do it on though. Anyhow, so let's grab this farm all right here. Uh, no, let's grab, which guy is this? You do want this guy here. Let's move him out of here a little bit. And I do like the way this, this tractor sounds, but it is a, just a beast. It uses so much fuel up, it's just ridiculous. Alright, so... And let's grab this case here and move the mower out of the way, because it's going to be in the way too now. And hopefully, hopefully being the keyword, of course, we'll be able to uh, grab some... We should be able to grab some of the lower bales. Let's just keep backing this guy up. Should give us enough space. I think. Excellent. Alright. That guy needs to be running. This guy needs to be running. Alright, so let's... Let's back this up here and... Grab. I don't think we can grab those top ones up there. But we should be able to grab these lower ones without a problem. Alright. This is so much easier when it's this height. Oh, careful. Oof. Okay, 
apparently that's not... Am I not that close to it? It's hard to tell. Oh, I've pushed it, that's why. What about now? Now? There we go. Probably should have taken the outside one first. That would have made my life easier. Alright, and the reason, of course, why we have this on the back is because uh, this is an older tractor. It's a bit lighter, so we need to be careful. There we go. And the funny thing is, this, this type of silo we have right now, we actually need to... Uh, oops. We actually need to put it, fill it with grass, apparently, and it'll make a silage, which is kind of like an older style. Uh, they don't actually use that style very often anymore. And as far as I know, the reason... Oh, it's close. Be careful. Uh, the reason why they don't use like the vertical silos like that to make silage often, apparently it's because of the, the fumes and whatnot. Like, some people still do it, but it's not a common practice as much as it used to be because... The f Maybe it is in the United States, I don't know, but apparently in here in Canada it's not as common um, because the fumes are harder to control. Like, what happens is you get all the, I think it would be methane gas at the top of it, and you could potentially, um, potentially have some explosions uh, because of that. So it's harder for escape. So it's more like in a closed area, so those fumes can't escape, so you have problems with... Uh, with it so it's kind of the interesting the reasons why or the reasons how um, how and why I suppose uh, farming has changed over the years because things like that you know they learn hey it's not as safe as it used to be to try and use uh, to try and use uh, I can't even see that bale there it seems like you'd be able to see these bales Maybe not with this type of tractor, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, I haven't driven an old tractor like this, but I like to think you'd be able to uh, to see the see that four foot bale in front of you. That's, I don't know. It's up to my waist, that seems like it's a bit short. So, I don't know, like, if this were a real bale, it'd probably be a little bit bigger than that, I think. And you'd be able to, see, maybe you wouldn't, I don't know. Let me know. If you've driven an older style tractor like this, would you be able to see the bale in front of you? Uh, so, for example, at the top of the bale. A little bit further here. There we go. And that's 6,000 liters in there now. So let's just test this out to start off with. So this should be just grass. And we can give this either give this to our animals now... Or we can, I think you should be able to put it into uh, that silo right there. Because I think that's the one that makes silage. Not sure, but we're going to find out in a second here. Alright. Can we, oh yeah, so this is the right one. So this is the one that actually makes silage right here. I, I thought so. Uh, I think it was Kraft who suggested that. So let's go ahead and just put that in there because we're going to need some silage here. And that would be a lot easier than um, driving back and forth. And it would be able to fill up our mixer a lot easier as well. So, excellent. So the question is, is this going to show up in our silos? Doesn't appear to. Uh, let me just exit out of this. I don't know if it... Do you have both of them? Default not. Price history. No. Default stats, maybe that's the one we're missing. Let's just see here. Oh, maybe this is the right one. Because this one might have both of them. Uh, beef, cows, chickens owned, sheep owned. No, maybe not. No, it's not the right one. Let's get this out of here. Alright, so I think that's a good place as any to stop. Hopefully, by next episode, we'll be able to give our cows a little bit of TMR. Uh, so hopefully that, li that little setup right there will make a li us a little bit of uh, silage. I don't know how much silage it makes or how to figure out how much it makes. Or maybe I can go walk up to it and it'll tell me, but uh, I guess I'll find out. 
Anyways, that's it for today, folks. I uh, got a little bit of bailing done. I'm sure there's ramps in here somewhere. Maybe it's not this version. Maybe it's a different version. This must be just a light. Sling bales. Oh, there we go. Doesn't do anything. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, folks, that's it for today. My name is Ian Robson. I've been Farming Simulator 2013. Coming at you from... Idaho. Catch you guys later.